This is what a typical supplier spreadsheet looks like. You usually have a product ID of some sort, a cost of goods sold, and a bunch of other information. To process it, click on New Scan, Process Spreadsheet. Either drag the file in or select the file. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it in. Once you get to this screen, you go through the steps. Step one is to select the column header row. In this spreadsheet, the column header row is not in the first row. So the app allows you to select the column header row just like that. If your column header is in the first row, you don't need to select it. It will select automatically. Once you select the column header row, you go to step two. And you have to map the fields to the co correct column header. So in this case, we have to look at our spreadsheet and say, okay, we are using a UPC uh, for our product ID type. So we've, we have UPC EAN selected. The UPC is in the UPC column and the cost column is in the cost, is called also the cost column. Now, if any of these were incorrectly mapped, all you would do is drop down and select the right column header for where that information is located on your spreadsheet. So once you map that, the app knows exactly where to find your product ID and your cost of goods sold so it could process it correctly. Now we also have a feature for reference columns. Reference columns allow you to bring in additional information like these columns right here uh, into your results. To select reference columns to bring in, which is totally optional, all you need to do is click down and we're gonna select a few of these as well. Step three are additional options for email notification once your file is complete, as well as premium data, which you could enable if you have the Web App Pro plan. I'm gonna go ahead and enable that and click process and our spreadsheet will start processing right away.